Well, hey now, Living Environment fans. If you're watching this, you probably know that I am not in the building today. And um, if you didn't notice, just look up. Oh yeah, I'm not there. But that doesn't mean that you don't have lots of things to do. Today is Thursday, December 15th. No, Thursday, December 15th. And um, of course you got this bell ringer. There'll be an Ed puzzle and uh, I want you to work on the game. Mr. Kovacs class. It's Mr. Kovacs class. You might learn on Todd. It's Mr. Kovacs class. He's interesting too. It's Mr. Kovacs class. And he's super cool. It's Mr. Kovacs class. All right, friends. So we've got our schedule here, right? Monday, you got intro to the game. Last couple days you worked out. Yesterday you did book talk as well. Today, Thursday, um, after this bell ringer, I want you to do the Ed Puzzle, which is about photosynthesis. I know that's a surprise. Uh, and then I want you to use the time to work on the game, right? Like I've been working on ATP, the game. I've, I've gotten to the point where I've actually played it a bunch of times and that's helped me. I finally was able to write out my rules or directions to the game. This was not easy. Um, really had to sit and think about what happens when and what the if, what if this, then what, that happens. Things that were easy for me to say were more difficult for me to write down in a way that somebody else could understand them. So you should be thinking about your rules that you're gonna write down, especially next week when we start playing the games, okay? Um, here, for today's bell ringer, let's talk a little photosynthesis, shall we? Shall we? All right, when we look at the cells of autotrophs, we see that they have these little green bodies that are floating around. Of course, you know those green bodies as, very nice, yes, of course, they're chloroplasts. Chloroplasts, chloroplasts, right? And in chloroplasts, they're floating around in the cytoplasm of the cell, and they're usually found in cells that are near the surface of the plant, exposed to sunlight. Usually, like, if you parts of the plant that are underground or parts of the plant that are deep within inside their stem, let's say, aren't going to be that green because no sun, no reason to be green to do photosynthesis. And of course, these little green bodies are bubbles within bubbles within the bubble of the cell, the chloroplast. They also have within inside them lots of membrane. And I think, I think you're starting to see that cells really work by having parts of them that have membranes and then proteins embedded in the membranes. It's like the proteins and membranes do most of the work of cells and that's true of chloroplasts too. These little membrane bound uh, pancakes in here are th called thylakoids, thylakoids, thylakoids. What are they called again? Good, thylakoids. That's where the light reaction of photosynthesis happens, right? Photons of light hammer those thylakoids and in response to thylakoids, hold up molecules of water that get blasted apart. Hey, what was the name of that tissue that delivers water to the leaves and ultimately to the thylakoids? Good, yeah, xylem, it's a great, it's a great Scrabble word. And then in between the thylakoids, it's called the stroma. The stroma, in between the thylakoids, the stroma. it's a really thick liquid, Think of it as the cytoplasm of the chloroplast, the stroma, the stroma. It's called the stroma. What's it called? Yes, it's called the stroma. And that's where the dark reaction takes place, right? So the electrons, the little, or the protons, the little hydrogen ions that have been released from water molecules get shuttled into the stroma where then they get stuck onto carbon dioxide, right? And the carbon dioxide, of course, um, entered the leaf through a little opening called a stomata, right? And so the process of, we call it the Calvin cycle, or the dark reaction of photosynthesis, you get a big sugar called glucose. So the plan today, you're just about to finish this bell ringer, so you're already a third of the way through the day. Then I've got a 
Ed Puzzle, it's pretty sophisticated about photosynthesis. I think you'll enjoy it. And then, yeah, I want you to use the time that you have. If you have just regular class, it'll be about 20 minutes. And if you have lab, it'll be about an hour. Use that time to work on and build your games. Even amongst your group, start playing the game to see if it actually works. And as soon as you notice something that doesn't work or that's confusing or you're not sure of, that's the time to fix it. All right, I'll be back tomorrow, unless there's a snow day, tomorrow with your test. Have a good day, everybody.